Food donuts. wine festival. Well, donuts. Oh, yeah. not donuts? Oh, darn. It's the food and wine festival. I mean, okay, I'll, I'm here for that too. Yeah. We can. It's not a real so one. Technically, this is not part of the food and wine festival, but we took a detour to. To get something that's not food nor wine. But that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so we are here at. Uh, La Cava de Tequila uh, in the Mexican Pavilion, uh, and we stood in line for a, while. a moderately long amount of time to wait for a beverage. Yes, <laughs> longer than I remember. <laughs> but that's okay. We have read it's worth it. So, yeah. uh, so here we go. So you have a uh, Dragones uh, top shelf margarita. Yes. No salt on the rim because I don't like salt. She doesn't do salt. Um, that's okay. Yep. Yeah, so do you want to give it a try? And I'll pull up what's, uh, do you want to know what's in this beverage? Sure. This is um, uh, Casa Dragones Blanco Tequila, Orangeville liqueur, agave, fresh lime juice. That's what it is. Okay. Simple stuff. I like it. Yeah. How is it? No mix. Um, I like it. It's got a little bit of a smoky okay. sort of vibe. Okay. It's, it's smooth. It's really good. Mm. I approve. Oh yeah, I get the smoky there. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Um, I have a corn old-fashioned. That doesn't sound near as fancy as no. a uh, dragones. I have a water, <laughs> which was free. Like, so this is, I feel like, you know, <laughs> hey, free water. When you can get a free water at Disney, go ahead and get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have the old-fashioned. Um, proper ice cube, I like that. Yeah, proper ice Nothing cube. Nothing makes me more aggravated than when you order an old fashioned and they use regular, just crushed ice. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, no. I want a cube. I want a rock, as they call it. Yes. Yes. Um, so this old fashioned. I want a rock! <laughs> so the ingredients in this old fashioned, when I read them, it said whiskey, tequila, whiskey, liqueur, whiskey, bitters. Wow. Pretty much. That's what it said. So that's interesting. I won't run down the different kinds because I don't couldn't pronounce them all. So uh, yeah, it's it's whiskey. But you can look that up. Or maybe we'll even be really ambitious and put it on the bottom maybe, of the yeah, screen. Yeah, maybe it's on the screen right now. Who knows? Might be. May not be. Mm. That's quite smooth. That's you were really good. You were leery about that. I was leery. Because I was reading the ingredients and it Again, it was like whiskey, tequila, whiskey. I was like, it takes a whiskey drink. It takes a sour drink. Oh, there I go again. But while we're here for just a moment, uh, as we're drinking our beverages, uh, should we tell them about the old fashioned, the old man drink book? I'm sure, why not? I Feel think this free. is a perfect opportunity. This is a great opportunity. It's, it's, I'm so close. Um, I'm so close to being ready to preparing this. So. It's a dream she's had for years now. Yes, I so I am putting together a coffee table book of old fashions. Um, so different old fashions that I've had from around my travels uh, in the past year, actually. <laughs> I think it's maybe a year and a half, two years. I can't remember how long. Over a year. It's over a year? Okay, over a year. Um, I think it's safe to say. I think right now I'm, I'm somewhere around the 40 mark. So, uh, the... Uh, this is no repeats. These are all... No, no repeats. It's all different. Maybe repeats at the same place, like one or two places that have multiple fashions. But every drink is different. Um, and yeah, so there'll be a coffee table book of, of old man drinks or old fashions. And uh, that'll be available for um, for sale at some point. So should get your... You know, get you ready. Tell them real fast about where where the old man drink. Oh, if they don't know the story. Came from. They may not know the story. If you haven't watched our cruise video from the Elation, mm -hmm. you may not you might not be up on this. So you may not be up on this. We'll story. get you up to speed. Yes. So um, we were on a cruise um, earlier this year, and we we're sitting at the bar, Alchemy Bar, at the Alchemy Bar, uh, waiting on our drinks. I had ordered uh, an Island Old Fashioned. He had ordered something else. 
Um, I don't remember what happened. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're down from where the bartender makes the drinks. So the bartender takes order, goes down to make the drinks. There's two younger uh, ladies sitting there at the bar drinking and they're asking him, what are you making? Uh, and he was like, oh, this is this, whatever he had. And then, oh, this is an old fashioned. And the girl just looks at him and goes, isn't that an old man drink? Which of course we were in earshot to hear and I yeah. lost it. So funny. So now old man drink it is. Old man drink. I'll take it. So anywhere we can get a good old man drink, she's all for it. I'm game. I like them too, so. Yep. All right. Well, let's uh, let's finish up these beverages shall and we, uh, head we, over to the next stop. Can we carry on to another country? Let's carry on to another country. All right. <laughs> Next stop, we are at the uh, India booth. India. And, you know, for me, I have the palate of a teenager. So, yes. like, India, really, when I think of India, I don't think of anything I want. Yeah. However, I've seen videos online, because, you know, we watch the videos. We watch all the YouTubers. What's and, up, Molly? And Molly. <laughs> pointed out this wonderful looking like I'm just gonna say if you if you fry if you fry cheese I'm gonna eat it if you if you go wrong with fried cheese there's something wrong hmm. for real that's that's a hard one so this is the crispy paneer. crispy paneer and I can't remember I'm trying to remember that what that is a curry ketchup curry ketchup and that's the smell that I'm getting. I don't know if you're gonna like that or not. I kind of like how it smells. Yeah, yeah. Chris a little weird for me. I think it's I'm a little. It's on my curry. But these look like these look fried like very nicely. Mm -hmm. Indeed, they do. So let's see. I'm curious to hear what you think. I should have went in without the ketchup. Like just that was for the my first thought bite. too. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I should have went in without the ketchup. No, I love ketchup. It's the curry. Like it's like it's like marshmallowy, fluffy, like kind of springy. Like how do you describe this cheese? It's like so different. I don't know. I really like. I'm gonna try it just without just without the the curry. Okay. I'm gonna be a no for me. Really? I love this. I think it's fantastic. Wow. It's not that I don't, yeah, well, it is that I don't like it, yeah. It's, it's I'm, a spice thing. I love it. I think it's been, there's something in there that I'm just like. Apparently we, we uh, had a little too much fun in Mexico. I like this That's a, a lot. So we have, you want to hold up this? You did a fine job carrying this, by the way. I know. There's a lot of people here. I do. And, and she she hardly lost a drop of our beer flight, yeah. by the way. Um, and so we have Kolsch, a lager, and a pineapple pepperweizen. Everything here, I'm totally cool with. Oh, like, cool like, there's no weird, crazy, like, dark dunkles and, like, I don't know what it stuff. is, but we're going to that's the Kolsch, I believe. Yeah. The lager is in the middle, and then the, the pineapple is the lightest of shades, so I'm guessing that's on the end. All right, there's the Kolsch. You like the Kolsch. And I do like a good Kolsch. I just need a pretzel now. That would be perfect. That's in Canada, right? Pretzel and beer too? Yes. I mean, there's pretzels in Germany too. But, right. But I'm saying like on the, the list. The pretzel we're getting. Yes. Yeah. Here, do you want me to help you out with Yeah, because that? that one feels like it's a little kinda, stuck. Yeah. It's a little and stuck. we don't want to spill. I don't want to spill. Go ahead and knock the top off of that, kid. I'm trying. Because if you pass it to me, it's like... Tastes like a lager. Goes down smooth. Yeah. I'm um, two for two on, on German beer. I mean, yeah. I, I, I... Why like don't you try that first? I feel like I'm taking all the first here. That's okay. I'm not a big pineapple fan, but the pineapple just... 
it hits real fast and goes goes really away and it tastes like beer after that. I like that. Are you going with the sticker bull and uni? That. We'll put it on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> we keep saying that. You know. So but we promise we'll it's pasta gratin with stuff in it. It's kind of a they, they say, you know, like a German mac and cheese. It's really good. Which we've had, well, we, we had it last year. We had year. it last year. Fantastic. But, um, we're going to act like we never had it before. Oh, here sorry. we go. So, this is the well, new. Farfig Nugan. <laughs> let's see what it tastes like. Let's give it a go. <laughs> mm. What do you think of that for the first time ever? It's fabulous. Two ears up. Nice and Marvin. Yeah, I mean, you can. Uh, how do you go wrong so with good. it? It's like, cheese. It's pasta. It's ham. It's ham. Onions. It's all the things. It's baked. It's all the things you need. I mean, it's got a nice crispy top on it. You can't go wrong with this. When you go on the website and you look up the food and wine, the picture is this. Do you want more of this? The apple strudel, kill it. Kill it. Um, and I love apple strudel. So I was like, let me get the apple strudel with vanilla sauce. So we're going to try a little bit. I do want to try the, the outside. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. You should try the apple. I don't like, I don't know. Like the outside is really good in whatever the vanilla sauce. The vanilla sauce, yeah. I'm, I'm like, if they just like left the apple out and just did that, I'd be down. It's just like a, a pastry. It's a pastry. I think the pineapple was a hit. It's gone. I guess I'm just gonna eat all the apples. So you can have the crust. Well, I I had every I had all the cheese in India, so I ate every bit of cheese in India, all they had. Yeah. And she's gonna devour all the apples from Germany. Yep. Ow. <laughs> um, so. I got. Okay, so this is the, the cutest, cutest wine flight. This really is. Is that not? Yeah. $6.75. Just the presentation Worth is it. fantastic. Worth it. So um, they listed what we've got. So Lots of things I can't pronounce. Well, we'll, just, here. Here, we'll just hold it up. This is what we're going to drink. These three things. Uh, the rosé, that's the middle one. I know that. Okay. I think, though, uh, we're going to use my, um, you know, my, my wine knowledge. Do you want to do the food first? I have so much. The wine first. Well, I mean, we're talking about the wine, so can okay. I just try that? Go ahead. Yeah, we'll do wine. Uh, we're going to go with the one from Austria. We're going to say that it's the one on the end. It's the white. I could be wrong. We'll look this up, and we'll let you know. Yeah, I think you're right. That's nice. Should you try? That's a nice wine. I just, That's really easy to these, drink. I mean, this will be a cute Jaeger cup. I'm just saying. You, you see where my mind's at. I see where your mind's at. It's really nice. That reminds me, maybe not, of your grandmother's wine that you used to like. Yes. Am I, I am I on to that? Okay. Onto that. That's why you like it so mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Cutest little vessel ever, so though. Okay, now let's try some food. Well, Are we let's, do, the wine? Well, let's do the middle one, because we know the middle one is... It's the rosé. That one. Money bone. Mm. Not fun. How do you feel about that? I don't like it as much as the other one. Rosé's a little weird for me. I agree. Um, I saw this, and what's this called again? Yes. It's Swiss cheese. It's something, something Swiss cheese. Cheese, ham, and, the, I and potatoes. Don't remember what and, it's called. And sweet gherkins. It had a really fancy name. We'll put it on the bottom of the screen because <laughs> that's just the easy thing to do. Um, 
it's like make yourself a little sandwich. Oh, is that how we're doing this? It looks like it. I mean, it looks, the bread's broken like okay. you can make a little sandwich. So don't get the gherkin. Gherkin. Don't be jerking I'll my the, gherkin. I'll eat the gherkin. Did I just, oh, five. Oh, there's three of them. Sorry, gherkin. Um, the ham is good. The cheese has a weird flavor in there. I can't really pick it out. Like, I'm going to pull the cheese off just to make sure it's not the ham. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely the cheese. Definitely the cheese. We'll give that to the ducks okay. and the fish. That's weird. That. I hope you back me up on the weirdness of that cheese. Okay. I'm not a fan of it. I'll try it out. This is not what we thought it was. Is it? Or no, no, that's something else we're gonna it, try. It kind of is. Uh -oh. Ham down. We're making a mess. There's something in that cheese that I'm like no bueno. You know what it is? What? It was sitting over those pickles. Uh, real fancy. How's like that a, one? It's, I think you'd like it. What's well, red? So yeah. It's red and it's not sweet. Mm, yeah, I like it. I think I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go low why, carb. Why don't you try, try potato? I will, I'm just gonna eat this ham right now. I like the ham. Mm -hmm. These potatoes, I don't, like, I don't know. These are weird. It's a new potato. As opposed to an old one? Exactly. Okay. Um, this was just okay to me. This is okay to you. I liked this one. Um, but it had gherkins. And I'm okay with the pickles. And the, the Swiss cheese was good. I would say the bread's the worst part of it. But the little potatoes were really good. And the wine was fantastic. The and for six seventy five. So, we're not 100% in agreement on this one, but last year, Italy was awesome. Yeah, they had fried ravioli last year. They had, they had, I can't remember what all they had. They had a good dessert. They had good entrees. However, this year, it just seems like the same, like they have three different kinds of gnocchi. Two different kinds of gnocchi and, and uh, a panna cotta, which I, I would have eaten two of the three things. The Italian but. margarita is really good, however. That's the only thing I would have waited in line for. Yeah. But we're skipping it this year. Because if this, like I said, we're kind of, you know, we're kind of house divided on this one. <laughs> but we just wanted to let you know we're skipping Italy. Skipping Italy. That's all. Sorry. All right. We're back. Not something or other. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Yeah. <laughs> We got more food. Yes. And, and more drinks. <laughs> so where do you want to start? Yeah, where, I mean, where do you want to start with this? Uh, I mean, I think we start with beverages because they're okay. melting a little bit in the hot sun. Yeah, so let's, take, let's take care uh, of that. I have Grand Meunier and orange. Yes, and this is the Grey Goose Citron Lime. And this is not, these are not part of food no, and wine. No, they're always here. They're, and I don't know how, I love Grand Meunier. I don't I know how recommend. I've walked by that 29,000 times and never got one. Mm. It's tasty. Uh, but well, I like this. I like this one nearly as much as that. I yeah. Mean, let me. That's a little. It's, it's sweet. It's a little sweet for me. I like. Really? Yeah. That's a little tart for me. Okay. So well. there we go. But we did get a food and wine item. We got okay. the. Uh, no. Oh, I thought you dropped something. I was like, did I drop something? No. no. Uh, we got the uh, beignet. And let's let's From talk. France. Let's talk about this a minute because this is not a normal beignet. It, you know what it looks like? It looks a blint? like a donut. A don't, well, like a beignet a, like is like a like a filled donut. But beignet is sort of donut. Donut. Oh, come on. Lots going on, lots going on around here. Everyone's here. Everyone's on vacation. Yeah. 
So, I'm gonna give that up. Yeah, I, I really don't even know where to start with this, but I mean, just it's now it's not to me it's this is not sweet enough like when i think of a beignet like i think of the powdered sugar and the sweetness now mm. but that that is more donutty than ben on the beignet side mm. but it's not even donutty it's very donutty mm. because it's filled okay it's like a filled donut a beignet is not filled not typically no. That's what I'm saying. A traditional beignet is um, basically just like a, a puffy fried dough with powdered sugar on top. Sometimes like, served with chocolate. I know it's cheese on the inside, but it tastes almost like a gravy. It's got a weird taste to it. I'm I'm not sold on it, personally. I mean, I think I like it. You think you like it? I don't know. Like well, either you like it or you don't. Not There's really not an. I mean, you could say it's okay. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Now we're in Ireland. Ireland. Yes. Slancha? Is that how you say it? Did I say it wrong? No, you said it right. Did I say it right? Slancha. So here we go. Slancha. Uh, this is a Guinness Bailey's shake. Yes. I mean, they had a couple things that looked like they might have been. I so thought you were getting the, the dessert. I almost did get the dessert. I should have gotten you one of these. So you may not get any other one. We're supposed to be sharing. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. I'll okay. be a nice wife. Okay, you can hold the camera. I'll hold the camera. I know exactly what you're going to say it tastes like. Like a place we go to. In LV. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. It tastes like O'Shea's. O'Shea's frozen, frozen Baileys. Baileys. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Except it doesn't have all this little chocolate it on top. It does the chocolate on top. So I like. Top's a nice, it's a nice touch. This would have been really nice if it was glass. I mean, oh, it's yes. plastic still. It's. I would almost keep this glass. I know. It's a borderline. It's, really cool. it's a borderline souvenir. I agree. I wish this was bigger. I know. For eleven dollars, I thought it would be. You would, you would think it so. was eleven seventy five. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's Disney. And it's booze. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna get you. So anyway. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like the food, I was kind of like, yeah, I might have got um, that one thing that was at the top of the menu. There was some kind of like beef mm. thing or, okay i don't remember i just I'm looked just, at the dessert i'm just being yeah and we were planning on getting this drink yeah from jump street so here we are because we're getting uh we're oh look we're almost in canada that's where we're headed next oh yes we told you the next stop would be canada we did here we are i hadn't seen nickelback though no or brian adams or getty or alex from rush or avril lavigne Oh yeah. Um, there's a couple well, other people. The, she's with the skater boy. She is. So but she said, "See you later, boy." Yeah, that's right. Now I got this song stuck in my head. Great. Great. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Greetings sorry. from Canada, kind of, sorta. So we've got we got a couple things. Um, we got the what is this? This is the Collective Arts Audio Visual Logger. That's a that's a way unnecessary name for a beer. Who names a beer that? I mean, maybe the name of the brewery is Collective Arts, and so it's the audio visual logger. I don't know, but we have this um, little filet mignon, the um, the beer cheese soup with the pretzel. Pretzel roll. Pretzel roll. And what? It's a baby. You can't go wrong. To me, I'll eat, I'll eat a pretzel roll. I'll eat a hamburger, I'll eat a hot dog, I'll eat a broad, I'll eat... <laughs> you pretty much put anything on a pretzel roll. I'm sorry. <laughs> you pretty much put anything on a pretzel roll, and I will consume it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was typical of a pretzel roll. It's a little yeah. harder on the outside, but, but good on the inside. Squishy. I will say, 
This is not the best cheese soup I've ever had. Oh no. But. But it's tasty. It's pretty I like good. it. It's got something in it where it's kind of like, I don't know, I can't point it out. There's something in it that I'm not digging mm. flavor wise. I don't know. That, that beer is pretty good. I like it though. Now, here's where we're going to have a problem because I'm going to have to cut this fillet. It's plastic. Mm. Oh, hold, here, I'll hold the camera. So you're, it's going to shake all over the place if you don't. Maybe. Let's see. If I can even. And we're going at it with plastic knives. Yeah. Plastic knife and fork. This is real classy. Oh, yeah. You're not shaking the table though. That's good news. Yeah. It has lots of mushrooms on it. Neither of us eat mushrooms. I avoided that. Yeah, luckily you can easily avoid it. It is really good though. I hope you have the napkins in your bucket. I do. It's got a, <laughs> great, it's got a great flavor. It's done really nice. That. Mm -hmm. What are, what is that on? Is that just like a gravy or something? Um, yeah. It's just a sauce. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Let me dig the napkins out. Hey, you got the napkins out of your pocket because we didn't get any. Yeah, that was good. I'm a fan. The filet was really good. Mm -hmm. Pleasantly surprised. Um, was it nine bucks? Yeah. I mean... You can expect to pay that for uh, probably what about maybe maybe four ounces? Nah. Three? Maybe maybe. I'm thinking three. Three, three maybe three ounces of mm -hmm. filet. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. This is tasty. Can I can I dunk one more time? Mm. Dunk away. I'm gonna let you finish this up. Mm. I have to go potty. He's gonna go potty. I'll be back. Um. We're back. We're back. We are. We're winding down. Not in a country. We're not, but it's part of the food and wine festive vibe. It is. It is. It's the fry a, basket. The fry basket. Except, you know, they had a fry, um, like. Like flight of fries. Yeah. And then they had these, which is the yucca fries, adobo yucca fries. Yeah, the, the fry flight, I was kind of like. Yeah, the fries were, fries. they looked hand cut and they had you know, different things on them and I was just like, it's fries, yeah. You can get fries anywhere. Let's, let's let her see how she feels about this. I just felt like this would be different and maybe yeah. more unique. Yeah. I'm interested to see what you're going to think about it. Because when I think of food and wine festival or Fries really doesn't. I'm like save. Yeah, food in mind festival. <laughs> it's garlicky. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not a potato. No. It's a yucca. A yucca. Mm -hmm. The yucks. Oh. <laughs> I get extra credit for my my cousin Vinny quote. Is it the greatest thing I've had today? No. I knew it was a word. No. No. 